all right how's it going everyone uh back again with another video it is the 6th of january and today we're gonna be going out i'm gonna go help the guy that owns the bait tackle shop that i work at we're going to put out a permanent shack out on one of the lakes near marquette um we have he built basically a nice, super nice uh, ice shanty, permanent ice shanty to go put out for rentals through the bait shop. So I'm going to go help him put that on the ice. And then we might even stay and he said I could fish it the rest of the day. So I might do some fishing too. So we're going to head out there and uh, we'll meet him out there on our way. So I just pulled up here and there are probably, I don't know, there's there's got to be a dozen people out on the ice, just even right by the launch right here where people are parking and there's a ton of people out here. So we've been getting good reports out here as well, people catching some walleye and perch and even getting some pike mixed in. But uh, Chris isn't here yet so we're just going to hang tight, um, throw my boots on and whatnot and just wait till he pulls up here and we'll get this shack on the ice. Hopefully we'll get a report too, see if anyone's catching anything and maybe give me some tips on what, what the fish are biting on. I mean, just, you can kind of see already, I mean, there's shanties all over the place right here. All the way out there. People got driving out there too. I saw a couple vehicles. People are driving right out there. Must be good ice. There's a UTV side-by-side -side right there. So here comes Chris rolling up right here. With the shack. A big old sign that says rent me there. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Good old billboard out there. It's gonna be awesome. Well, we just got out here, just finished setting this thing up. Looks pretty good. We got good advertising. The road is right there. And so it should be should be a good setup. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fish this the rest of the night, I think. Just uh there's perch and walleye from this lake. And there's some pike too, so we'll see. The uh, shack's super nice. Window on this side. Um, definitely, if you're gonna come to Marquette, don't don't be afraid to uh, hit us up. I'm not sure exactly what the what the rates are, but definitely inquire. Um, four holes. Got a bench on either side, which is nice. Got the heater going already. It's gonna be nice. It's real nice. Got some just regular battery powered lights here. It's gonna be good. How's it going everyone? We are out on the lake. Um, me and my buddy Colin decided to come out, try our luck ice fishing. Currently he's out there setting up tip-ups. It is an absolute blizzard right now. Just calming down sideways. We've probably gotten about eight inches of snow already and it just not has not let up at all so we got the uh we're just using my ground blind for that i use for hunting we set that thing up here and staked it down and built up some snow around it so kind of have some protection from the wind so we're gonna put out four tip ups and then we're gonna drill a couple holes in here and do a little bit of jigging we're just mainly pike fishing this lake isn't known for big pike but hopefully we can chase some flags all right we have an interesting turn of events we just had a flag go off and Colin's out there we're getting the if we got a pike on I got him there's another one right there flag 
the flags off. No shit. Ow, I just ran by it. Maybe that's why. I got my camera in my hand and everything. Yeah, it's not spinning. My camera's getting soaked. Go ahead. It's not spinning right It don't mean anything. Like I said, I just ran by. I could have, I could have uh, tipped it. So, all right, guys, checking back in. Uh, we got one pike on the ice, and then I'm just sitting in here, just ripping right now for anything that comes by. I just got a little like, uh, I got a moonshine shiver minnow on here, and then Colin's out. He's probably he's out way deeper than I am. He's probably in 15 feet of water, and he just caught a super small pike on a on a little minnow and a and a dew jigger and uh still got our four tip ups all set up just kind of sitting here waiting it's still snowing really bad the snow just sucks it's that heavy wet stuff and it's, it's not like it's cold out or anything but it, i mean it might as well be sleet i mean it's just windy and wet wet snow and it's just not fun so I'm just, I'm just sitting here, jigging this shiver minnow. This lake, this lake that we're on is known for, known for pike, and the, the regulations on this, on this lake are, um, there's no limit on pike size or, or the amount you can keep. Because there's just so many of them. You can keep one over 24, and then they can be under 24. The one we got right here is probably 19. So it's one of those lakes that's really abundant with the northern pike, and so we can uh, we can keep as many and all the smaller ones as we want. We can cook those up. I love eating northerns. We'll just we'll give it a little more time and probably about three o'clock right now and probably stay out here for a couple more hours at least before we pack it up we want to get out of here the roads roads are not good at all they're terrible driving down here so we'll uh i'll keep you updated all right guys how's it going um it is the next day uh, after the day that colin and i were out fishing on that one lake for some northern pike. We ended up catching four pike total. We were out there for probably three and a half hours. Um, basically, we only kept two of them because the other two that we caught were super small, like under under 13 inches, and it just it wasn't worth it. We threw those back. But we got two pike that we kept, just some smaller ones, but we filleted those up, got them in the freezer. Basically, the what we were fishing with was uh, just regular probably three to four inch sucker minnows on tip-ups and we also had some medium-sized golden shine right now um, Here at work. I work till six o'clock tonight, and I was gonna get in touch with Chris who owns a place Chris and Michelle super cool people um, Great people to work for super nice understanding all that good stuff um, I'm just gonna get in touch with Chris and see if one anyone was um, renting the shack tonight and me and Colin might go out there and do some walleye fishing and get a little night bite action going. The weather yesterday, man, while we were out there, out there ice fishing was just awful. It was brutal. I mean, we were both soaking wet, Colin more so than I was. I was a little bit more prepared, but he was literally a jean sweatshirt and a car hard jacket, and he was just drenched. It was bad, but I am going to uh, probably edit this video while I'm here. If it's not too busy, I might sell a lot of bait. It's just a Tuesday, but you never know. Guys could be going out on the ice taking advantage of it. It's not too bad out there right now. It's probably high 20s and kind of a gloomy day. So um, I'm going to get this video edited, I think, and put it up. And then I'll try to do some video tonight even, um, see if we can't catch some fish out there. But regarding the, the rental shack that we have out on the ice, um, just whenever I videoed that, whenever I put it in the video, if you just want to pause the video and take down any information, if you're interested in coming and visiting Marquette if you want to do some ice fishing 
definitely get a hold of us. The rates are $55 a day. So if you have a you and another buddy, or I mean, you can get three guys in that shack and set up a bunch of tip ups around the shack too. I mean, that's a that's a manageable that's a manageable, easy, fun ice fishing day. Basically, you come in and we'll mark you down on our calendar and give you the key to go out there. To be completely honest and realistic, uh, the lake that it's on. Um, compared to last year, the reports, I mean, there's so many guys out there right now and they're catching a ton of fish, which is good. And unlike last year, I mean, it's always so-so when you go out there. You never know if you're going to find the fish or not, and they can be really temperamental, but it seems like a lot of guys are catching fish in good amounts, too. So um, definitely hit us up for that. And also I'll link down in the description the Facebook page for the Bobber Shop, the Bing Tackle Store here. Um, we post on there a lot. Um, when we have bait, and when we get new bait in, or new products, or something like that, just just things like that. Um, but yeah, looking forward to uh, get some more ice time in, and hopefully catch a lot of fish. But I think for now, I'm just gonna get this video all edited up, and uh, hopefully do some fishing tonight. So thanks everyone for watching, sticking around, and uh, um, it really means a lot that some people watch these videos. It's really cool. So I'll see you on the next one.